fastest growing sports organization in history. And now UFC is on a hiring spree. This despite a stalled economy. How have they done it? How do they do it? And what can President Obama perhaps learn from the UFC about creating jobs? Shut the door and get it done. UFC President Dana White is here and he's excited about not only what's happening in Brazil this weekend with the huge fight, UFC 134 in San, uh, in, San, uh, in Rio de Janeiro Saturday, but also your big Fox deal. You're on network television. You join the family. Thank you. Appreciate Congratulations, Dana. Tell us what you bought and tell us what you have. Well, you know, originally when we bought the UFC, this thing was dead and, and basically was going out of business. I had uh, called my partners and uh, said this might, thing might be for sale at the time. We were talking about getting involved in boxing. And when this thing popped up, we bought it for $2 million 10 years ago and then invested another $44 million into it before it turned around. And, you know, you go through some, some good times and some bad times, but once we got a television deal, understand this thing... This thing had such a bad stigma attached to it back in the day that it wasn't even uh, on pay-per-view. Right. So we got it on pay-per-view, and our long-term goal was get it on free TV. We got a deal with Spike TV. It took off from there, and then we just ended up getting our big Fox deal. But along the way, as this continues to grow, when Dana White says, I'm going to Las Vegas, we're going to be doing a show, we're going to have a fight here, how many jobs are created? Uh, well, not, not only how many jobs are created, but how many people do we touch? See, the UFC, when we roll into a city, people come from all over the world. This is an international event, and we just did 55,000 people up in Toronto, and our economic impact on, on the city of Toronto was $44 million. Right. People come in and they stay in hotels, they eat in restaurants, they go to clubs, they go to the malls, you know, so it, it, it really has a huge impact on cities. And Dana, what is your advice for Washington as they try to figure out how to get people like you into the economy spending money? Now, I know you're spending money. What's your advice? Yeah, well, it, it, it's all about capital. Any Anybody who's, who wants... There's a lot of creative, smart people out there. Right. And with a lot of ideas to start businesses. I mean, look at ours. Where are they, though? They're out there. They need they need the capital to be able to do it. Without that $2 million investment and the $44 million that went into this thing, which is a huge investment in something that might not have turned around, then this thing would have never happened. And now, not only do we just create jobs in... Like I told you, when we roll into a city and stuff, but there's T-shirt companies, all the people from production that touch this thing, um, you know, all the products that are, are built around mixed martial arts. You know, we've created an entire industry, not just here in the United States, but worldwide. Yeah. Right now, we're in 155 countries, 22 different languages, and a half a billion homes worldwide. And if we can get rid of regulation, if we can make it tax uh, tax friendly, with movies are now into New York City, things go to where it's going to be done the cheapest and the best. Right. It's true. All right, uh, Dana, uh, congratulations on, on the Fox deal. We we'll look forward to seeing you. What are the details for Saturday? We got we got a big fight in Rio de Janeiro. The pound for pound best fighter in the world, Anderson Silva, is fighting this Saturday live on pay per view. Wow, congratulations! I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Good to see you, Dana. Meanwhile, 18 minutes now after the hour. How many?